Hello YouTube and welcome to a new video. It's been a while since I've updated last and I'm actually going to show you how to use RSMF and Max. And yes, it's finally released. Sort of. It's still in, let's just say, early access. Um, I'm still working on it, but you can buy it if you want. All features are stable and usable. Um, and yeah, let's get into it. So, because some users that already bought RSMF and Max are new, I've, I've seen that some are new to managing servers and don't know how, so I'm just gonna do everything from the beginning. So you're gonna down, you've, you've bought this, um, extracted it into its own folder, entered the license key, and now you're here. Of course, the values will be different. Server host name. This is the name on the server list. Uh, you can change this to whatever you want. Um, this is my awesome server. Uh, server description. You can edit this. No, it says do not add forward slash back. Do not add backslash n. Backslash n is used when you manually write bat files to make a new line for the description. However, RSM does that for you. So we can basically just do line one and line two. Click set, and there you go. As you can see, backslash n. So so URL, this is the URL for your website basically. If you don't have one, leave it blank. I you can also if you have a Discord, just put your Discord in there. That, that works as well. So your banner, your image, uh it can be any image you want. This will be uh the giant image people see on the server list. Okay, so now let's get to server seed and world size. Server seed and world size is only used for Baron and cross zero maps. You'll see as soon as I switch over to Craggy Island, oh, the options are gone. That's because only Baron and procedural map uses them. So, server C, this is uh, how the rule basically looks like. Procedural map has grass and everything. Baron is basically like a wasteland. There's no grass or anything. It's really smooth. I, honestly, I like uh, Baron more than procedural, but procedural is preferred for all server owners. The rule size, it ranges from 1k to about 6k. It changes however you like. Um, however, for this video, I'm just going to switch over to Craggy Island. So as you can see, the options also just appear. Max players, it can be as much as you want. Like, it doesn't matter. If you if you, your hardware can handle it, your server can handle it, basically. But I'm just going to go for 5. Now, server IP is where a lot of people seem to get confused. Uh, if you don't know what this is, please do not change this. Do not even touch it. Um, the server IP is only for server owners that basically have multiple IP addresses assigned to them. So you get a uh, dedicated server box. Um, a lot of a lot of companies use that. So to say you're zero VPS, you have multiple. Some even have five IPs. So you have five, and that's just the IP the server should bind to. Um, but if you're using this on your home computer and you're sitting behind a router, just leave it as it is and don't touch it. Otherwise you will have issues if this is configured wrong. Server port, this is the port the server will be listening on. Um, changes whatever you like, uh, but you can also leave it at default if you want. If you get an error saying a oh, server could not be started on this port, then you change the port to something else. Uh, you can even change it to 6 if you want, or 7. Uh, I'm going to leave that at 5. Server save rate, this is how many seconds the server will save. I chose 300 as default. Archon IP is basically the same rule as the server IP. Don't touch it unless you know what you're doing. The Archon port um, can't be the same as the server port. It can be anything else, just don't make it the same as the server port. These two cannot be the same. Um, Archon password, this will be the password I, uh, you're going to use to connect to the Archon. Uh, you can even generate a random one. There you go. It's huge. Whatever. And yeah, so maps. I already told you. You sort of choose maps. If you want to use a custom map, you can upload it to Dropbox and put the direct download link here. Uh, and just make sure this tab is highlighted and click Save Config and the server automatically uses the custom map. Now, I should probably delete this. This is how your server variables will look like. Uh, this is just for, you know, having custom extra parameters. 
So for example, I want to uh, put the radiation off on the server on start automatically. So I'm just going to do server dot radiation and false and then click the plus. Now this will be added upon server start. Uh, just make sure to click save config. Now installing your server. Now we've done. Now we're done with the configuration. I want to install your server. So you see, we have the server config tab. This is where we're on right now. This is the server installer tab, and then you have the oxide. We're just going to focus on the server installer. So we have a nice little progress bar here, and we have a Steam CMD logged window. So RSM ha embeds Steam C basically inside of it. So you don't need to type anything. You just click buttons. Uh, this is where you change the branch staging main. You can even click install update server, and this will update the server for you, or even check if it's updated. As you can see, it's already up to date. So validate server files. You can use this to uninstall umod forward slash oxide, and yeah. So now your now your server's done installing. Oh, but you want to make it modded. You want to install plugins on it, so you, you want to go ahead and install umod. All you need to do is click this button and it'll do it for you. I'm not going to do that, however, because uh, when I, for some reason, when I install umod and start up the server, it shows my IP address. And you know, I'm not in the mood to edit everything out. As you can see, it's roughly late for me. So you can even configure umod or oxide over here in this little configuration menu and this is where you install plugins as you can see you can browse through all of them now the search bar works for offers so you can type in the name of the offer or the plugin name or even that sound like a partial description so if I were to type in wolf which is the main owner of umod basically and this is all of his plugins listed on separate pages as you can see they're all owned by him so now we do, for example, Death Notes, which is a really popular plugin. Oops, I, you see I'm, I mistyped that. Make sure you, you can even type in Death and it should show up. However, as you can see, it's going to put up a bunch of different uh, stuff that matches Death. So as you can see, they mentioned Dying, which is equal to Death. Uh, but here's Death Notes, and you, all you need to do is click Install Plugin, and it'll install the plugin for you. However, you need Umod installed to use these uh, plugins. If it's not installed, you can't use them. Also, as soon as you update your server, you want to make sure to install Umod as well. Make sure the latest version matches your installed version. However, this feature is currently not implemented yet. However, I'm still working on it, so just be patient. Now, starting your server is really easy. Uh, we've done the config, I'm, I don't know why, but I just want to press save server config the whole time. Now, let's quickly, I, let's, let's just go and start the server. Let's go over what this is. Affinity, this helps you utilize your server cores. Um, so you enter hex value, this can easily be figured out how to use it via Google. Uh, type in Google cmd start affinity and it should explain everything to you and you can just enter the hex value so you can enable this also if you're going to use infinity i suggest you quickly open the cmd window you go to its properties and make sure use legacy console is checked before you start your server if you don't do this your server might spaz out you, you will have this console that you know I, Something something's wrong with it. It looks like it's having a seizure. So the priority, this will be the priority on the system. You can leave it a high. A lot of people use high um, or normal. I, I recommend using high. Miscellaneous options, auto restart in seconds. So the auto restart doesn't actually restart your server. What this does is, let's say you have a plugin like time execute, which will Execute a command called restart and that restart command will actually just normally shut down your server and, and um, Shut down your server Now what this does is after your server has been shut down RSM well not RSM itself the batch script it generates will automatically restart your server within 30 seconds once it's been shut down and this will help your server to recover from crashes or you know auto restarts basically and if you're happy with this, you can just click start server. 
as you can see your console look like this now another note is as you can see in the bottom of rsm it says attempting to connect to the server based on archon config now what this does is rsm automatically tries to figure out uh, what's the best way to connect to the server via websockets you're going to see now this message should disappear and after the server is started up values are going to start showing up here we have the server host name uh, more info and FPS and the server uptime network and that's the RSM version and game time even the map so as you can see it's pretty easy to set up a server uh, for example let me show you how the restart thing works before an example a plugin will shut down your server for you uh, at an X amount of time basically let's say you want to restart it at 3 a.m. You, you get a plugin called time to execute you can configure it to automatically run the command quit or restart and it's gonna basically shut down your server and that 30 seconds you configure the year will start counting down here if you press enter it will immediately restart your server if you just close it it won't restart at all and th this has basically been how to create a server with rsm fmx if you haven't bought it yet i recommend trying it out um, Honestly, there, you have nothing else to lose. This is a really nice piece of software. However, I am being biased because I made it. So uh, you, you don't have to take my word for it. You can join a Discord server. I'll also post that in the description below. Uh, you can ask a bunch of people on there. I have a lot of customers already on it. So if you want to find out more, join a Discord, uh, talk to me or talk to another admin or even customers if you want. And yeah. Uh, have a good one.